When I meet people and I tell them I'm a mathematician, one of the reactions you often get is, I hated maths at school, or I was rubbish at maths. A lot of parents have had bad experiences and that sort of maths phobia can actually be projected onto their children. It's definitely a subject in decline and it's, I think it's a bit of a worry. So I don't think we value maths enough. Um, and I think what people don't realise is how important maths is for everything else. Maths is very relevant to lots of things in the real world. So when you're learning maths, you're learning how to communicate. Maths is a different language. You're learning how to read it, interpret it, and then re-communicate it in a way that makes sense to people. You're learning uh, critical and analytical thinking, problem solving. You're learning sort of research skills. You know, what, what are the things around me? What can I take from these and what can I turn them into? And so there's all of these loaded things that you're actually learning when you do maths and stats. I really don't think you need to be clever to do maths. I think everyone is good at maths if maths is explained to them. One of the problems is once you get students who get lost and feel like they don't care about maths or they don't like it, it's one of those subjects that is quite hard to pick back up unless you put in a lot of effort. I actually never learned how to do long division in primary school. I, um, I think I was sick that week, I've got absolutely no idea. Um, and that was fine until then much later on when I came into um, I must have been university and I had to learn how to do polynomial long division and I realised I had no idea how to do long division. I'd always just sort of made it up as I went along and so I actually had to go back and learn something that I probably should have learned in primary school. If you look at where all of the careers are going at the moment, sort of careers that exist today didn't exist 10 years ago and they're all based on technology and they're all based on digitisation, data, all of these kinds of things and so I think it's when we really like to think of maths as sort of the backbone of all the sciences. So maths is the language with which we engage with science and the modern world. And so if you have a good background in maths and stats, what you'll find is you are making yourself future-proof in a certain way. You know, if you're interested in space or the environment or medical research or anything, you know, if we even think about COVID, a lot of the people who are working with the data um, and doing the predictions are mathematical epidemiologists. Even if you want to get into making lots of money and you get into finance and stuff, if you're better at maths, you're going to be better at finance. Maths is everywhere.